Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Um, thank you for all the texts and, not texts, emails and comments. Um, I want to specifically thank again uh, the All You Motorcyclist um, for helping me in our property search and we found another property. Woo! And also to the Norfolk Thunderbolt who very kindly offered his assistance in helping us look for a property and storing the bike. So thank you so much mate. I think Fingers crossed, we have found a property with a garage, so hopefully that will all go through. It's chain free, um, so fingers crossed on that one, guys. And it's in a lovely little village, very close to where we were looking before. The village is called Gislingham, not Gislingham. <laughs> I've got that wrong. <laughs> anyway, guys, I've got to tell you one more story about Rob um, before I go on to the bikes. And I say bikes plural, I haven't got a second bike, I'm not trying to trick you into that. But my last story about Rob, Rob was a friend of ours that passed away recently. We were all friends, there's four of us, um, we, we've been friends since we were teenagers and we've always stayed very close. Um, and we have a lot of funny stories to share about him, but I, I understand that they're probably not as funny to you guys. But this one, although it's quite horrendous, is very very amusing so years ago when Rob got married um, he, he split up with his wife but they were still very good friends but when they were married they bought a house and he decided to to do some decking in the garden his uh, wife uh, or his ex-wife now was a nurse or is a nurse and left Rob to sawing up all the wood to make this decking. Rob is the worst DIYer, worse than me. The only good DIYer in our group of friends is Sean, who's the carpenter. But Rob wanted to do it himself. So anyway, he was merrily sawing up the woods and doing this decking. And then his wife said to, um, said to us, he, she got a phone call about two hours later and it was Rob screaming down the phone, where's the super glue, where's the super glue? And she's going, calm down, what, what's happened? What's happened? And he said, I've cut my finger off on the circular saw and I'm gonna, I need to stick it back on. <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> Why do you think that? Why would you do that? I'll stick it back on. <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I think what his wife said was that he was in shock. <laughs> sorry. He was in shock. <laughs> so anyway, she talked him down and said, you can't... <laughs> <laughs> you can't glue your finger back on. Um, she said, "Put put it in the <laughs> put it in the freezer, and I'll be on my way home. Call the ambulance." No, I don't think they called the ambulance. They didn't call the ambulance. She said, "I'll take you to the hospital." She rushed home, and she said she imagined it was just going to be the tip of his finger, but it was actually his little finger. It was actually half of his little finger had sawn. He'd sawn it off, and not only had sawn it off, but when it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rob. When it had been sawed off, it had fallen down between the the frame of the decking into the mud. <laughs> and Rob didn't even like clean it; just put it in the fridge. And his wife said, when she opened the freezer and found this finger, she said it was just covered in bits of gravel and mud. And obviously, that's probably not a good thing for sewing it back on. So anyway, they rushed to the hospital with this finger wrapped up in some. In a, in a packet of frozen peas and they got there and not surprisingly the doctor said I'm sorry but we can't um, we can't reattach it um, so then Rob said to the doctor C could I have the <laughs> <laughs> why are my friends with these nutters um, Rob said can I have the finger back <laughs> and he said why do you want the finger back and he said I'm gonna leave it in the freezer and in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years time, when you've worked out how to reattach limbs, mine will be still in the freezer ready so we reattach. <laughs> anyway, his wife was having none of it because why would you want his finger in the, anyway. So that was it, so Rob lost his little finger. Um, and we reminded him of that um, for the rest of his life. And, and it was all done in jest and he found it funny, but every time there was some event or something, and even at his wedding, one of us shouted out, where's the super glue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rob, 
I miss you. Anyway, that's my last story I'm going to tell you about, Rob. I've got loads more, but I realise that I could go on and on and on. Guys, so I had a text yesterday from... Do you remember my first Royal Enfield Classic 350? It was called Ernie, and he was the Halcyon Grey, which is kind of a blue colour. Um, and I sold him, and I really regret selling him straight away. More than the green one. I loved Ernie. Anyway, Ernie's owner texted me yesterday and said that he's thinking of selling him, and did I want to buy him? It was almost like meant to be, but I, I said I would, but I would have to agree a price, which we haven't yet. And to be perfectly honest with you, it's done about three, Ernie's done about 3,000 miles now. And <clears throat> the difference in price on a brand new Classic 350 has come down so much since I bought Ernie. I mean, you can get a new one for like 3.8, I think. And I paid, I think, four and a half for Ernie, maybe, around about that price. So they really have come down a lot. Um, so I will probably, unless we get come to a deal, I will probably end up buying a, a, a new one because I really want the Signals grey one or another Ernie. So it'll be one of those two. And I will definitely be getting that. That's 100% definite. Um, but it's probably not going to be until when until we've moved. So, um, I also think that I might need a commuter bike. I've been talking to my boss at work, and he said, you know, there's lots of bikes you can get. The the is it the NX the NC 750X? Um, uh, that that could be a good bike to commute on because I'm going to still have to come to work, and it's I mean I can drive obviously, but you have to pay congestion or um, yeah congestion. Uh, so I'll see. We're, we're, it might be that I have three bikes because this this property that we're buying has got a garage. So very excited. I've got a camera. I've told you about the camera I've got that I'm going to put on the bike because the village we're moving to is stunning. Anyway, guys, let me spin the camera around and show you the Bonnie. So you might hear the gardeners are here today, and I don't. I think they purposely blow all the rubbish into my garage because it is. Look at the state. This is our moving boxes. Anyway, the Bonnie is absolutely stunning. I'm meeting Richie today, and um, I have to say it's a bit cold, Richie. I might have to drive up to you, mate. But the Bonnie's going nowhere. Absolutely love it. But I'm a little bit worried about putting the miles on him um, when I'm commuting into into London, where I work, once we've moved. So a third bike might be on the cards, guys. Anyway. Hope you have a good week, guys. Thanks again for all the comments and emails, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ride safe.